Go on, mate. Yeah, it's a different intro, isn't it? Where's Ed? Oh. Uh, just making a video. Do you wanna do you wanna do some? Oh yeah, I was just having a look at the fantastic views, but of Quito? Of Quito, yeah. It's pretty nice. And the surrounding areas. We're only at um four thousand oh. metres. Casual. Amazing. Still breathing. Just. Oh no. Bugs. Here comes the rain. Oh it is actually. Right, quickly. So um, we wanted to talk to you a bit about um, Hardin. Um, There's not really much to talk about Hardin. It was the final um, final stop of our places we wanted to see in Colombia before leaving. So this kind of marks the end of our, our Colombian adventure. Um, but um, we took a... So down in... Uh, well, I suppose it's sort of southwest. No, 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 no. West. Well, like the middle, but the west of Colombia. There's a coffee region. Midwest. Um, the Midwest. Midwest. The Midlands. Birmingham. <laughs> there's a there's a coffee region. And um, uh, there's like a popular town called Salento there where lots of people go to do their coffee. That's like a touristy... Tourist. That's really tat. touristy. Yeah, tat. So, so we want... went to Hardin. Um, <laughs> you want tat to go there. Which is a different. It's a small town, very colourful. It's supposed to be the prettiest town in Colombia. So you can't miss that out. We, we took um, took a bus from Medellin with the intention of staying overnight in Hardin, doing some more exploring and then coming back the next day. Hey. Hello. Did you see that? Join in. A couple of birds. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we, we took the bus ride um, and again, it was, it, was, it was supposed to take three hours. That's the normal time that it takes to get from A to B. Um, but because of the... Well, there was no road. They were reconstructing a road. No road. So they completely destroyed the old road and they hadn't quite built a new one, so it was just rubble. Um, so that, for that reason, the bus driver could only go about 10 miles per hour for most of the journey. Ugh, and yeah. it just dragged on and on, and in the end, it took uh, seven hours. The views on the bus, when the sun was up, the views were astonishing. I've never seen anything like that. It was it was um, just... Like well, was it the Andes, or was it just a different mountain? I, I should know. No, it was, it's definitely the Andes, yeah, of course it is. But, um, or the armies. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I mean, you can just. Yeah, we've, well, I think we've got some photos and videos, and. Well, just I was just going to say, when, you know, when we're talking about the beautiful views and stuff, you know what to do, but I was just going to say you can overlay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know how to edit a video. Oh, okay. Um. So it was it was amazing because the, the mountains were vast and the weather was perfect. So it was kind of like um, clouds, but not completely. So you had like light shining through onto the, the clouds onto the didn't cover the mountains. No, and it was it was just beautiful for ages for, for for like a lot of the journey. So that was really nice. But as soon as that went, couldn't see anything and the roads were windy and we, I think we were just tired and miserable by then and a bit sick. Yeah. Um, so we arrived in Hardeen, went and had some lovely food, but we weren't in the mood. And um, Weren't in the mood for food. Went, into, went to bed. So the next day, we were then worried about getting back to Medellin because we had an overnight bus. So we um, booked a bus for two o'clock, so we only realised the morning. Um, and um, Bro decided to do some video editing for you. Yeah, sacrificed. Yeah. A lot of sacrifice goes into this. Um, and uh, I went and had a little wonder. Um, so it was a, yeah, a, a beautiful town and I went to this um, uh, little contraption. It's not really... Give it up, it's... Yeah. Um, so I went to this uh, contraption that kind of took you from one side of the valley to the other and at the top you could get like a view of the town. So that was really nice. Have you got a video of that? Uh, yeah. You yeah, do have a video of that. How convenient. Play. Um, I'm in a little cart <laughs> going over a ravine. Uh, it's like a little shed, and uh, you can see how far down we're going. Um, but I'm just going over a, a massive waterway. Uh, it's a bit rickety. <laughs> Um, but uh, 
yeah, good. I missed the first one, so they came back and got me, and um, I'm now on my own in it. So that's quite cool. Um, and uh, I'm going up there, so should be able to get some nice views. Got the camera. Uh, but yeah, a bit mental. A bit mental, but great. Some dogs. Do you mind? Hi, fellas. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> um, uh, yes, yeah, so that was really great. I walked around the town. This old man um, sort of beckoned me into his back garden and he, he showed me all of his flowers that he'd been growing. And uh, we had a very limited conversation because my Spanish is um, awful. And I really regret that, actually. I should have done more. But um, it was really nice. And, and he was kind of representative of the rest of the community, really. We, um, we met up a bit later and went and had some lunch in the town. And every town in Colombia seems to have a massive plaza in the middle and it's the same in Hardin and they have so a fountain cafes and, uh, and restaurants around it and a church a fountain yeah. and a church is there and this young lad came in and started talking to us and asking us about kind of what we we're doing there and we were asking him about what he was up to and his English was really good and wanted to know about Brexit <laughs> as well yeah that comes up a lot um, really yeah what do we think about Brexit obviously we don't like it they're um, in Colombia they they literally the other day just had a vote for a new president and then the country's divided and um, they're comparing it to similar uh, to, to kind of Brexit and Trump oh. um, because it's kind of split down the middle. So half the country are going to end up not very happy and um, it's causing a bit of friction. But it doesn't matter because we left before the vote was announced. Safe. Um, yeah, so Harding was great and some, some lovely waterfalls. I think I've got some video of the waterfalls as well. So I'll be playing those as I'm speaking now. Oh, nice. Um, nice. And uh, yeah, it was too short. Oh, look at that waterfall. Isn't that nice? Look at the stream running and the rocks. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jardim was a bit like Cotafe and that we just didn't have long enough there. We would have really liked to have stayed longer. But um, we made our way back again, like a long bus ride on the way back and then got ready for our overnight bus to, um, to Bogota. So a lot of busing in the last couple of days. So it was, it was bit, a lot of traveling. All a bit miserable. Um, so we're quite looking forward to um, just sort of, if we're enjoying our places, we're not restricted by us having uh, booked a flight. So if we if we want, we can. Because we've only been spending about two days max, really, in in hostels, and it would be nice to uh, just spend a little bit more time, just to sort of settle down and uh, yeah, exp explore the surrounding areas and, and do all that sort of stuff. So, well, the next five days, six days, includes five days of back-to-back -back trekking. Love it. We've done back-to-back -back busing, now we're doing back-to-back -back trekking. Doing a volcano today, doing a volcano later this week, and doing a three-day unguided hike. Because we don't need it. We don't need no guides. We don't need a guide. Got a sense of smell and our eyesight. Yeah. Hey, Bear? That's it. Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls, yeah. Um, so, that was it. That was Colombia. Might do a little highlight video of Colombia, just to give you a little... Quick snapshot. snapshot. And maybe flavor. there'll be some hidden footage. Hidden, not hidden footage. Unseen. Because, yeah. Why would, yeah. The best bit. The outtakes. <laughs> I mean, these are one long outtake anyway. So. Yeah. All right. So that's a, that's the trilogy complete. And remember, you're getting all this for free. Yeah. I mean, it is all free and we're doing Including all of the this effort. Including this view. We what? are doing all of the effort and paying for everything. So We'll even get up now and we'll leave and we'll leave the view for you. Are we? Yeah. That's generous. Yeah, go on. They deserve it. They're there at work. Well, work. I hope you enjoyed the trilogy. Um, we'll be doing more stuff like this and uh, keeping it more in, uh, say, a town that we go to. We'll just do a video about that town as opposed to waiting. We won't have to wait so long, eh? And stop complaining. Yeah. It's bad. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, see you later. Bye, folks. Enjoy the view. Are we out?